So we're out here on the Lucky Strike property, sampling a bunch of areas today. And this is one of the ones that I wanted to stop at. You had iron sulfides running through here. And we're gonna kind of sample to the right of this exposure. Uh, there's bedrock and outcrop exposed for about 75 meters and we're gonna see what we can pull out of here today. So these are the rocks in the area, gray silicus unit. And as you can see, you have disseminated iron pyrite and very minor amounts of chalcopyrite in basically this entire rock unit. Anywhere you see this, you'll have between one and 5% disseminated iron pyrite and very minor chalcopyrite. For instance, here is a sample from 10 meters away from that first one. Again, disseminated iron pyrite and chalcopyrite. And another 10 meters away. Another little sample. There's actually a little bit of sphalerite in this stuff here. Might have to wash these off and show these a bit in more detail. So there's definitely some sphalerite in these. Quite a bit of iron pyrite, coarse iron pyrite. And as you can see, a lot of gossiness rock here. A lot of deterioration. Basically this whole area is disseminated with iron pyrite and very minor chalcopyrite. A little bit of sphalerite in some areas. The sphalerite is generally found in uneven patches. What I'm noticing is where you find all this black deteriorated rock is where you find the higher sulfide content. And also where you find some sphalerite. So these aren't huge, but there's quite a few of these in this area. And uh, the entire host rock is mineralized. Another small area here, you can see a very nice hunk of sulfides. There's a mix of uh, sphalerite in there, pyrite, pyrotite. Here's another chunk here. I washed off a couple of these samples that contain some sphalerite. See right there. So there's definitely pyrite, chalcopyrite, sphalerite, a little bit of pyrotate. And here's another piece of your typical host silicus rock. The areas where there's sphalerite and more mineralization, I'm noticing a slightly different color. While the rock is still silicus, the, the rock color is different. 
It's a little bit more greenish. See, there's some swell right in there. So these are all samples that we've taken over a 20 meter wide area. Different mineralization. And uh, different variations of mineralization. The last sample from this area. So definitely worth pursuing this area and doing more detailed prospecting above and below this showing in Gawson area. That's it. We'll see you guys next time.